diploma in civil aviation trains students to be knowledgeable in the fields of uh, airline management and airport management uh, and air traffic control. Uh, we set up the virtual aerodrome laboratory so as to immerse the students in a realistic environment of an airport. Uh, for example, uh, students can take up various roles as airport managers, air traffic controllers, pilots and role play these roles in an actual scenario based environment within the virtual aerodrome laboratory. And uh, with this kind of a role play, they are very well versed with the tasks and duties of the various types of people working in an airport and in an air traffic control. And when they go out into the real world, uh, this type of uh, thing is not new to them. So they are very fully aware of the situations and they are immersed in the situation. So when they go into the real world, automatically they can just assume appointments in the airport and air traffic control with very little training. It is very essential in civil aviation that uh, the directions, the lightings and the signs on an um, taxiway and an airport runway are very clear and concise and to the point. Uh, the Christie projectors have been uh, very good in the resolution, colour, brightness, in representing uh, the actual environment. In other words, what you see in the projector is exactly what you would see if you're taking a walk at the aerodrome. It puts the student in an immersive environment in an aerodrome. The Christie projector's resolution is so clear that they can actually match what is in real life to what is in a lab. Many of our guests and students who have come to view the projection system are very impressed with the resolution, the colour and the various mechanisms that are put in the system. Well, I find the virtual aerodrome that actually realistic because we can create um, scenarios of real events that happened before and also we are required to follow certain process and procedures such as giving ATC commands and also the standard operating procedures. The visuals um, follow closely of what is being represented at our airport, such as the features uh, like lighting, uh, taxiway markings and etc. I find that the visuals related at the lab are actually good because some of the features are actually functional and not just for show. For example, the arrow bridge, is, we can actually engage it and disengage it and follow the approval from ATC. ST Electronics Training and Simulation Systems developed the Virtual Aerodrome Laboratory that you see behind me. VEL was designed based on the syllabus from Republic Poly's Diploma in Aviation Management. Christie was able to meet our requirement based on product reliability, price competitiveness and of course the availability of technical support that we needed. Christie's team was very much engaged with us in the early process of uh, requirement gathering. So at that point of time, they were able to advise us in terms of technical, some sound technical advice that uh, contributed to the smooth installation process in, in Bell. In ST Electronics, uh, we pride ourselves in providing a high quality solutions to our customers and we work with partners who are able to help us achieve these objectives. In that uh, aspect of things, Christy was able to do a very good job.